The great thing about content strategy is that it's something that can be relevant for almost any business, no matter how, how big, how small, what industry you're in. You know, depending on what you're trying to do, there's types of content that can work. You know, whether you're looking at something that's bite-sized, like social media content or infographics, maybe longer informational blogs and videos, or really high value content like ebooks and case studies and white papers. It all just depends about finding something that fits into your strategy of what your business is trying to do, who you're trying to reach, and what message you're trying to communicate. What I really want to talk about here though are some of the obstacles that get in the way of a successful content strategy. And these are all things that we have seen over the years and that your business uh, may be dealing with now or in the past or maybe even in the future. The first is a lack of clarity. Clearly defined purpose, clearly defined strategy, and clearly defined processes. So the problems that come across when you have this problem are twofold really. The first is sometimes you are working at cross purposes. One of the ways that content strategy works is by having a consistent message that your, your customers are hearing the same thing over and over, maybe not the exact same words, but the same message. They're hearing it at different times, in different places, maybe in different formats, but it's consistent. But when you don't have that clearly defined strategy and purpose, sometimes you'll find that you're sending mixed signals. People aren't getting that consistent message, which makes it really hard to break through. The other problem you can run into is actually kind of the opposite direction. And this is especially true in a larger organization when you don't have clearly defined processes. Different parts of the organization can all be producing different versions of what are essentially the same thing. And so you find out that you're reinventing the wheel five times at once when really you just need these teams to all talk to each other and really create one really good thing. The second problem that you run into in a content strategy is impatience. Just not being able to wait for the results. This is especially a problem when, for example, when you have a new brand, a new product, a new service, you're trying to really hit the public conscience for the first time. It's gonna take a little while. You know, you're not gonna be able to just launch the brand, create a couple pieces of content, and then wait for the money to roll in. That's just not how it works. It's going to take time. Or if you are in a business with a long sales cycle, you know, you can't produce a couple couple blog articles, a video, maybe promote your social posts for a month and then say, where's all the sales? Well, if you have a six month sales cycle, that's not gonna work. And so the problem here really is that there is a gap between when you initially make the investment in creating content and when you see the results. And so you have to be patient to make it to the other side. Otherwise, you can easily find yourself giving up right as your message is actually starting to break through. The third problem that businesses run into is a lack of discipline. In the content world, there are all kinds of shiny new objects and trends you can chase, new platforms, new styles, new kinds of things. Hey, this is the cool thing. Maybe this is what we should be doing. It all has to go back to your strategy though. Is this the place where your customers are? Is this somewhere where you're actually talking to a relevant audience? Is this somewhere that really allows you to communicate the message that you're trying to get across? If it's not, it really doesn't matter how cool it is, how trendy, it probably doesn't belong as part of your content strategy. And that's okay. A great example of this in the past is the notorious pivot to video from a few years ago. You may remember uh, Facebook and other platforms were really heavily promoting that everybody needs to stop. Whatever other content you're doing, just do video. Video results are up here, everything else down here. If you're doing anything besides video, you're a fool. So all these companies said, hey, this is what the data says. Facebook says it, we believe it, must be true. And all of a sudden, everybody was doing video. Everybody's doing video, video, video and a lot of good content programs that were not video got shut down. Good people lost their jobs even. But before long, suddenly the results started coming through and companies started realizing, we're not seeing the results that we were promised. What's going on? And there's two things here. One was what we just talked about. It's a lack of discipline. There is no one size fits all solution in your content strategy, even something as great as what video was promised to be. It might work for one industry, but not for another. Might work for one business, but not for another. 
The other issue, of course, and this is something whenever you're chasing a trend, some of the data behind this was false. It was all misinterpreted, and so they were chasing a vapor. So if you stay disciplined, stick to your purpose, stick to your strategy, stick to your plan, you can make adjustments. You can say, hey, we're gonna dip our toe into this. But we need to, everything needs to go back to what we're really trying to do here. And that's how you create a content strategy that drives sales and growth.